Hello, it's Andy, and today we're going to be showing you how to prepare an artichoke, and we're also going to be doing a winter vegan soup, so bear with me. So as you can see, this is a raw artichoke. I already went off to cut off the head and I wrapped it and prepared it, but I didn't do it on camera, so I'll be throwing in some clips from Tasha Edwards from The Sweetest Vegan. She's awesome. Subscribe to her. So she's cutting off the head of the artichoke and also she'll be cutting off the stem. So she's opening up the artichoke. Now she's adding on some sea salt. The salt is optional. You can add any seasoning or spices. She's adding lemons. Now people say that they put on lemons to preserve the color of the artichoke, the green color. So that's why she did that. She's also going to be stuffing her artichoke with garlic cloves, which I went on to do off camera. And she'll be baking her artichoke. Now you can bake it or you can boil it. I'm going to be boiling mine, but um, you can like bake it for like 45 minutes. I boiled mine for like at least 35 minutes. And yeah, you eat the bottom half and it's really tasty. So we're going to start off with the winter soup. I'm just going to base my pot with some organic spring mix. And we're going to boil everything in together, even the artichoke. You're going to need a slice of onion. And all of this is optional. You can do whatever you want green plantains, this is the artichoke stem, some people say that there's meat within the stem, so that's optional, collard greens, tomatoes, radishes, cucumber, carrots, garlic, more garlic, I love garlic, cilantro, potatoes, McDougal style, and I don't know what that is, it looks like a baby green pepper, but it's pretty spicy, green onions, and it's a veggie party, throw it in there, tap it, shake it up, shake it up, and I just realized that uh, this pot is actually a little bit too small for <laughs> what I wanted, so we're just going to transfer everything into a much bigger pot because I love to eat a lot. That's right, I am not sharing. All of this is going down my, my stomach. All of it. This is for me. I'm greedy. No, I do share, but anyways. So of course you wanna add a good amount of water as desired. Yum. It already looks tasty. I'm adding at least two to three tablespoons of sea salt and it's optional. I'm just going to remove this onion that I threw in there earlier because I'm not a fan, so in the trash you go. The great thing about a veggie soup is that you don't need to add a lot of spices and flavoring because all the veggies are the flavors. It's the foundation of flavoring. I mean, flavor comes from veggies. So I think my artichoke is finished. I left it in there for about a good 35 minutes or 40 minutes, I think. Always make sure that your stove is off when everything's finished, be safe. So here's a tip for a thicker consistency. If you mash down the potatoes, it actually makes the soup a lot thicker. Here's how to clean your artichoke. This is the string that I use. You can buy it at almost any local grocery store, but any strings will do. Now you don't have to use this method. I personally like to use this method just to keep the lemons in place because the lemon does preserve that green color of the artichoke in the inside colors. So we're just going to remove all of that and it is garbage. We're not going to be eating this. Not sure if the lemon gives it any flavor, but as you can see, I already went on to stuff my artichoke with garlic and we're going to be removing the garlic as well because we just don't need to eat that. There's no flavoring in there. All the flavor already transferred into the artichoke. Now, we're going to be cleaning the inside of the artichoke using the scooping method. Now, you're going to scoop in all of that stuff that's inside. It's like really, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, if you eat that, your throat will be very, very irritated. So, you do want to remove all of that fuzziness that's going on inside there. 
yeah, make sure it's clean. You don't want to eat that. Trust me. Bad experience. Garbage, garbage. Remove it, throw it in the trash. Now make sure your artichokes is clean. Now, the way you eat this is you scoop out pieces from the inside, from the middle, and you can chew on the part that I'm actually pointing to. Now that's the edible part. The top piece is not edible. The lower parts of the artichoke is the parts where you do want to consume. And so now I present you with the final product, the artichoke itself. And so I hope this video helped you guys. It took me at least two to three tries before actually getting this right. So it does take some practice, but it's okay. And you can always look up other YouTube videos to see how to eat or prepare artichokes. And there's many different ways. So, so go out and buy some artichokes and enjoy because I have fun. I always have fun making these things and they taste really good. They do have a unique flavor to it and I feel as though it's worth it. So bye you guys. Enjoy your day.